Hi everybody, Will Schwartz the Bentertainer here, and I'm with Fred. So it's Fred and Wilma. That's right. And we're just relaxing around the house, uh, trying to hope that this coronavirus thing gets over with sooner than they say it will be. And I'm going to take my Corgi mask off. Fred's been here so long under this quarantine that everybody's got that I think he needs a haircut. Pretty soon you won't see my face at all. I'll look like Cousin It! Right. And, uh, this is very strange that everybody's basically quarantined in their own apartments, houses, whatever. Um, people are saying that <coughs> this could have been prevented. I'm not sure about that, but in the long run, I see several things that will come out of this in the positive. First off, I do not think that we will see as much crime as we've been having prior to the coronavirus, that we will have as much crime afterwards because people are realizing that being quarantined in their own apartment, house, to dwelling is very similar to being in jail, except you got the luxury here where in jail you do not. So I think that will be kept in the back of their minds regarding, do I want to create, commit a crime and wind up in another quarantine situation? Not me! I know. Now, the other thing is, out of all this, it's going to bring us back to God, which God has taken a back seat lately with all this hatred. And now, God is what's going to pull us through this virus, pandem, I can never say that word, the pandemic. Whatever that word is, it has nothing to do with pandas. But um, I do believe some of this is blown out of proportion by the news media. Uh, the news media doesn't get any watchers if it's good news. They only get watchers if it's bad news. So if they promote bad, they get more viewers. That's sick! Yeah, and that's what the coronavirus is sick. Now, they claim... What was that? That was my pain in the neck cell phone. Oh, okay. <coughs> they claim that ventriloquist characters cannot get the coronavirus. You mean I'm safe? That's what they claim. You can't get it. But I can. Why well, didn't I get a distance myself from you? Uh, well, yes, you should, but at the same time, you better not. Why? Because if you distance yourself to six feet from me, I do not have a six foot arm. I have a six foot body. But I do not have a six foot arm. So what does that mean? That means that you become lifeless. Oh no. Yes. Because I won't be able to reach you. So, what I want to say to everybody is, be safe. We're going to make this. We're going to get through this. 
I just hope sooner than later. I also strongly believe, as I said, that God gives through this. And I also believe that the crime will be lesser afterwards due to the fact that people being cooped up in the houses quarantine are going to think that it's like a prison and think twice before they commit crime. The other thing I want to say is now that the parents are home with their children from school, if any of the children have been problem where they've been getting, the parents have been getting called to the schools, I think they're going, the parents now are going to start realizing why they've been getting called to school. Uh, the next thing I believe is they're going to start raiding the alcoholic beverage department instead of the toilet paper due to the fact that they're going to try to drink their worries away. Don't do it. Drinking will only add very possibly depression and carelessness. Yes! And carelessness can cause you to do something that could cause you to get the coronavirus. So, all I can say is we would like to be out there entertaining people, but it's quite obvious we can't. So, for everybody out there, be safe. Keep God in your heart. And we're going to make it.